just got hooked up to the trailer. We are headed today to get it all filled up with books all the way. Um, last time I did this, it cost me right at $200. We'll see what it costs today. Hopefully the same exact price, but man, this won't be right there. But who knows? But anyways, I'm gonna bring you guys along today, kind of show you the whole process of sorting books, selling on both Amazon and eBay. Um, some things I do to make it quicker. And one big thing you have to remember is, how do I deal with every book? Before you do this, you need to have a plan for every single book. So that's what we're doing today. And yeah, I'm gonna turn this off and I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. All right, so this little trailer, it's four foot by eight and I'm not sure how tall it is, but this is what $200 worth of books looks like. We're just kind of thrown in here. There's a little more headroom, but I didn't want to load it down too heavy. I think everybody's just getting tired of loading books. There was like four people plus me and we just all decided that was a good enough workout for the day. And I feel like I've definitely got $200 worth of books here. So I'm gonna get this unloaded and start talking to you guys about sorting things out. All right, so we have started sorting here. I got a lot of empty containers, some already getting full. And first things first is I got this hand truck just the other day, and this is really helping getting stuff from the trailer over here to my sorting area. Really happy with that. If you can back your trailer right up to where you're at, no big deal, but it's been very, very helpful for me so far. So let's kind of go through the initial sorting of the books. First thing I'm doing is I'm putting them into three stacks. This is one stack here. These are all things with barcodes. I'm gonna be scanning these with a scalp, with a app called Scoutly. It is a service you have to pay for, and I am kind of on the fence whether it's worth it for the volume I'm running to pay for it or not, but it's gonna basically tell me if it's good to go to Amazon or if it's probably good for eBay. And I'm gonna put it in one of those boxes, either here for Amazon or here for eBay. I really like these containers, by the way. I got these last time I got books and a few more this time, but they fold down really flat you see there's like four of them right there and then you can stack them whenever they're full. So been a big fan of those, been really using those. And then after I've scanned them all for that, I will scan them a second time using sell back your book. I do not get much money from them, but really more what I'm doing is trying to get rid of a lot of the books because at that point, after I have gone through and they're not good for Amazon, not good for eBay, I'm just having to try to get rid of them and sell back your book is one way I can kind of do that. I might as well put them in this box and get a little bit of cash for them. Just drop them off at UPS when I'm going there anyways and do things that way. So that is what I'm going to be doing with this stack. This stack is all ones that have the ISBN on the back. I can scan those using Scoutly as well, but it's like a little different feature. The wind's blowing my boxes away. We're gonna have to get a book in there. But it's a little bit different feature, so I don't wanna be switching back and forth. So I do have the two different stacks and notice Barcodes are all up, ISBNs are all up. This one needs to have the covers all up, but I missed that book. And then these ones I need to open up and look for the ISBN, or maybe they don't have the ISBN and I have to look them up separately. These are gonna take a little bit more time to look up. I might set these all aside and not do them today. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll see, but I'm gonna start with barcodes, scan those, either Amazon, eBay, or sell back your book. If they don't go in there, my next containers I have are this is children's books. I'll fill this whole thing up, sell them for like 15 bucks. No big deal. Oh, these over here. I haven't talked about these. These are for either non book things. Like we got some DVDs and different things in here or things. I know that I will sell the books in lots. This reader's digest and down here. I actually got a whole lot of, I think these are like science fiction, fantasy novels, mass media paperbacks, and I'll lock those all up at some point. There might be some good ones in there individually, but I'm not dealing with those today. That's all gonna be kind of a lot up situation, but I'm trying to keep my lot stuff from eBay separate from my individual eBay stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna scan all these. Either put them Amazon, eBay, sell back, children's books. And I need another one of these for cookbooks, but I haven't ran into any cookbooks yet. And I got two more ways I get rid of stuff. Next way is this bag right here, this box. These are all going to go to my friend, Robert. He is a high school English teacher and he's gonna take a bunch of books, but he doesn't want all the books. He doesn't want like diet books or books his kids shouldn't be reading or like slightly outdated textbooks. No, no, no. So those are going to go over here and they will get either donated or disposed of or paper recycling or something like that. 
And the last thing, I do have this box over here. This is trash. I've already got this much trash from that many books, which is absolutely insane. We got like styrofoam, binders. That's some wipes I was using to clean some stuff up. But anyways, now I'm gonna scan. Let's do this. All right, so just a couple minutes later, just quick update. Amazon box is still empty, even after all those with barcodes and ISBNs on the back. We got like four books here in the eBay pile that are all good. And I think there's like six bucks, six books in here for like six dollars almost, which is really high rate. One of them was like two dollars and fifty cents, which really helped us out. Usually you're getting like a dime for those. I'm working on the tote full of children's books. It's coming along. I've not yet done these ones where you have to open up the book and look for the ISBN just because they take a little more time. I don't feel like dealing with it. Here is the box for my friend Robert. And here are the books I don't think he wants. Eight Week Cholesterol Cure, Roadmaps of America, that type of stuff. So I'm gonna go get another load, probably put these to the side and just kind of keep processing like we've been doing. All right, another little update. I finished the second load now. Robert's box of books is full, so I need to find another box for him, which I'm getting empty totes now, but also my trash is overflowing, so I might need that for that. Amazon box, it's looking really good. I went ahead and scanned the stuff where the ISPNs were in the cover, and that stuff was good. And then this textbook was in the last lot. I think it's like $170 profit. So yeah, quite a bit of stuff in the Amazon. First load, nothing. All this was from the second load, or I went ahead and scanned the stuff with the ISPNs in the cover which always does a little bit better. eBay, not too terribly much, kind of surprising to me, but it is the way it is. Sell back your book box is getting pretty full. I think after the last load, I'll tape this one up, slap the label on it and start another one. Probably get like nine or $10 for this box of books, but and I pay a dollar for the box. Really not a lot of profit, but it's just one way for me to get rid of the books. Just what I'm looking for. This is slowly getting full. I usually ask like $15 on Facebook Marketplace for these. People come pick them up on my porch. I just want to move them fast. That's why that price is so terribly low. I just want to make it a great deal. Somebody drove like an hour to get one of these the other night because it was $15 and that's exactly what I want. I want somebody to come get them right now and they'd be gone. I might let the kids pick out a couple books out there too. We'll see what happens. This is random stuff. I oh, got these like inserts, audio book. This thing's pretty cool. I haven't really looked at this yet. Scented instant water color markers. I don't know. Who knows? Random stuff and stuff for bulk eBay. This is stuff even where inside it doesn't have an ISBN. So all like pre-ISBN stuff. This I'll need to look up on eBay by typing it in. And I'm not doing that today. There's no way. I don't have time. So that's going good. Cookbook tote has started. Price up the same as the children's books, $15 for a tote of cookbooks. And actually, I already have somebody waiting for one of those. So they were sadly missed out on the last one. These are just, I need to get rid of any way possible. These I need to get rid of any way possible. I'll either donate or trash or take them to paper recycling. One of those three. Don't really want to donate them in this town because I don't want them to accidentally end up in the same place that I'm getting these, which I know can happen no matter where I donate them in this town. So... I have to go the next town over to donate them or trash them or try and figure out recycling. Anyways, let's go. All right, I wasn't planning on making a video for this next load, but it was almost completely different stuff. So I want to talk about it. First off, I do have these manuals, Chevrolet service manuals, 74, 75, 76. Those are like 20 bucks a piece. So I'm just going to stick them in the eBay right away. Got this one journal. I'm going to give this to my wife. She likes this type of thing. So... There we go. And then as far as ISBN books, this is really all we got. Excuse me, this one doesn't even go here. This is all we've got. Does this have an ISBN on it? No, nope. let's open that one up. And what else did we get? We got a lot of paperbacks, mostly romance, some Agatha Christie here. That's almost enough for an Agatha Christie lot. Just some random romance. This whole thing is romance. And I know you might look at that and say, that looks terrible, but I'm just gonna fill up small Lowe's boxes with those. I'm selling for like $20 or $30 on eBay, plus shipping, a little bit more trash. And then I got this, which is kind of interesting. It's like all cookbooks and cross-stitch. So I'm gonna like sort this out, see what we got here. I guess this isn't all cross-stitch, but like sewing stuff. And there's probably just gonna be mostly just some lots here. There's some cross-stitch. Some definitely interesting stuff, different stuff, not the Amazon, eBay type of stuff. 
But when you're buying loads like this, you kind of need to know how to deal with this different type of stuff. You're not always going to have just fill up an Amazon box and make money that way. All right, it is the next morning and I got everything sorted yesterday. So we're gonna take a look at everything, what I've got. I'm not gonna really talk about profit too much yet because that is still a big question mark, but definitely happy with everything that we got here. So I'm gonna show you the good and the bad here because we got some good, we got some bad and yeah, let's get after it. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Amazon first. This is my Amazon pile right here. I pulled it out of the box and just, I just scanned through it real quick. I'm not sure what the total was, but I know I had this book right here is well, not that book. There's one book in here that's $175, a really good textbook. And then there's two other books over $100 and a good another handful of at least $50 books. And then some other kind of filler, store filler stuff that's going to be really good in here. Lots of profit. I'm going to guess we got at least $700 here after fees on Amazon, but not real sure. This is my only box of like individual eBay books. I'm not even sure if these are all actual individual eBay books because I'm scanning with Scoutly to try to put books in there and it might be putting books in there that not don't actually fit. I'm kind of playing with the Scoutly to kind of give me an idea of what to put on eBay. So we'll see if those are actually good for eBay or not. I know some of them definitely will be. This is what's left of my sell back your book pile. I boxed up one full box. It was going to be like $17.50 for that first box. I actually have another partial box from the last load. I don't think I have enough to finish out a box though. Here is one tote of children's books. And then we've got two others, one here and there. Actually, this one's overflowing. I can probably split it between two smaller totes. So $15 a piece, let's say four totes. That's going to be like $60. And those will all be gone within the next week week and a half worst case scenario um these are most these are basically all bulk books for ebay and then a few books i just hadn't looked at for ebay yet i've got three of these rubbermaid totes ready i've got three of these rubbermaid totes ready for that and then also if you can see in here those black things i've got stacked there i've got a total of seven of those filled with mostly bulk books for ebay which are going to be really good bulk books is going to be a big part of how i'm making some money on this lot just because kind of what was in the lot these are basically what i consider my garbage books books that are not a lot of value we got this really messed up encyclopedia set that's spread throughout all here we've got some like atkins diet books lots of diet books lots of kind of dictionaries and lots of just like slightly outdated textbooks and that's mostly what's here it's really not a lot of other stuff in this pile believe it or not and that's a big chunk of what's there so yeah mostly garbage books i can either take those over to the next town and donate them i'm thinking about trying to call the paper recycler here in town and see if they would take these or they'll just end up in the garbage but i really don't want to do that either but honestly most of these are not books that anybody wants anything to do with there might be a few mixed in there, but really nobody wants these. I'm um, going over here. So I talked about how I had two totes of children's books. I also have one tote of cookbooks. I've already got a lady that wants these, so that'll be good. And then underneath here in this box down here, this is actually an encyclopedia set that's missing one book. And I need to look at the price of that. I might order that one book, finish out the set and sell it that way. We'll see what the value is on that set exactly. This massive pile is all trash. It will get a lot smaller once I condense down these boxes. That's the unfortunate bit of this is we got a lot of trash. We got some broken totes, boxes, random binders. What is that, like a case to a tablet or something? A broken snowman? A puzzle that's supposed to have 5,600 pieces, but there's only like maybe a couple hundred pieces. And the last thing we got right here is all the totes of books that are going to my friend who teaches at yeah he teaches english so these are all things that his kids might enjoy maybe not probably a lot of stuff in here that he doesn't want but i'm gonna let him sort through it himself oh and then also we got like six more totes that are real nice to use they don't have any lids or anything but i use those quite a bit so that's always always a nice benefit of this as well all right so i think i'm gonna end the video here so that's not going over days and days as i process through the rest of this getting it listed just because that's a lot to keep up with but 
If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I am going to be working on now cleaning stuff up because usually I do not let the trash pile accumulate that big or this pile of books over here accumulate this big. Usually I'm getting out to the car because right now I am completely surrounded by this stuff. So I'm going to be getting it cleaned up and yeah, leave me a comment if you got any and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.